guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am doing a video today. I got some mail, so I'm doing a haul and a kind of a swatch fest for you guys. Um, I got these from the lovely Aria, and she is so super sweet. I got these in a Facebook page buy sell kind of thing, and these are from Mac, and I. These are like really the kind of the first Mac products that I own like actually own I am huge into colored gel liners So that's this is basically what they are some of these are the Mac chroma lines So they're colored eyeliners, which are super cool and some of them are paint pots, but you can also use them as colored liners or eyeshadow bases to um to um, intensify your eyeshadows or whatever, um, or use them as cream eyeshadows. Okay, so I'm going to swatch them for you. The first one is Marine Ultra. This is a chroma line, and I am obsessed with these. Some of them are slightly used, some of them are not, so in the group sometimes you get them used sometimes you don't I'm just using a little craft brush here from Michaels and and of course this one this this brush is all hardened for some reason I don't know why we must have used it for something else <clears throat> but this is the what is this one called again Marine Ultra. So gorgeous color. I've determined that um, the only way that I can do a perfect cat eye is with a gel eyeliner. I don't know why, but that's how it is. This one is called High Def Cyan. Say, say, say on. This is also a chromo line. It's this beautiful teal color. I wish I had a better brush for you guys, but I just don't. This has been just like lightly swatched basically. Loving this color. This color is amazing. Um, I should wipe the brush off in between, Chris. <clears throat> so that's what this one looks like. Ah, very nice and creamy. They are wonderful. Um, if you guys have any of the chroma lines, um, post down below and let me know what you think of them and are they, um, do they dry out really quickly? Because that's one thing that always bothers me about creams is that they dry out really quickly. Um, this is, if I can get the blue off of here, hold on. But I have been obsessed on this graphic eyeliner kick, this colored eyeliner kick. So I'm really excited about these. This is a chroma line in basic red. It's looking orange on here, but. It's actually looking a little orange. Mm. This one's not spreading all that well. Oh, ooh, I love this. This is looking, um, it's an orangey red. It is an orangey red. It's not like straight up red, red, red. Um, okay, guys, I'm back. I had an interruption. Um, but so. Uh, like I've just I said before, I've determined that cream liner is the way to go for me for um, winged eyeshadows. So this is the basic red right here. It is an orangey red, which I was, you know, really looking for a red red, but that's good enough for me. I really like it. I'm just on this huge kick as far as cream gel eyeliners go or cream eyeliners, whatever, go, and I just can't seem to like find any so when Aria came up with these I was like oh my god yes I will take them all this is in process magenta and this is a chroma line also so if you guys like I said if you guys know this is brand new brand spanking new I mean look at this color holy crap Ola um This is an amazing, amazing hot pink color. Like, oh my God. 
Um, let me know what you think of these. I've never, I am not very familiar with MAC products. I will not lie. I don't own a lot of MAC products. I'm not very familiar with a lot of MAC products. So please let me know what you guys think of these. Um, as eyeliners, as gel eyeliners. Look at that. <sighs> I mean, these eyeliner, I'm going to rock these eyeliners like no one's freaking business. Let me tell you, this is crazy. So super excited. The next thing is... This one is Hyperviolet, and this is a, actually a paint pot. You're not going to be able to, I don't think you're going to be able to see the label, but it's Hyperviolet. It's a purple, it's like a deep, deep purple color, very vampy. Um, this is more of a paint pot. Well, it is a paint pot. It says it's a paint pot. But I know the paint pots can be used for so many different things. I noticed the paint pots don't go on. It's this gorgeous eggplant color. Um, they don't go on as well as the chroma liners for an eyeliner anyway, but again, it could be my brush, but I will show you because I have the crappiest brush ever right here. <laughs> I don't know what I used it for. It looks like it's all glued together, but It's a really nice eggplant color. It looks black, um, and that's I wasn't going to get it, but if you look at it here, you can see it's purple. So, but it comes out like as an eggplant, but that's really, really cool, super cool. And the last one is primary yellow. Hello. Um, so I can make a nice orange too with the red and the orange, mix them together, never been used. Um, Aria is absolutely amazing. She doesn't have a Facebook page, not a Facebook page, but like where she sells her stuff. But like every time she, she's the one who, who sold me all my lit cosmetics. And oh my God, I love this. Love it. Let me put a little more on. Absolutely love it. She sold me all my lit cosmetics for an insane price. And she also sold me some candy sprinkles, candy, yeah, candy eye sprinkles. And I did a review on it and it was, it came out horrible, you guys. So there's the yellow. Like, I'm going to be rocking this eyeliner like nobody's business. Oh my God. I, it just craziness what I can do with these. I'm so super excited to be trying these out. But there was a little issue with, um, she sent me the candy eye sprinkles and, which is a glitter basically made by candy eyes and they were gorgeous. But the problem is, and I did make a video for you guys, but it, it didn't turn out. It just didn't turn out. It wasn't going to happen. So and what happened was some of them opened up inside the packaging and so they were basically unusable. Like it, there was just glitter everywhere. And so she sent me more lit glitters. So I am really excited. This one's called I Feel Love. I have this one from her already. This is um, a size three. These, these come in different sizes. But this is a size three. You can see on the cap. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh. So I love lit glitters. I mean, I love them. Um, the candy eye glitters I love, but I'm going to use them with the lit adhesive because I just find the lit adhesive to be the best. This is not exactly a glitter. This is called Kabang. This is their electric. So look at this. Like, holy moly, super duper electric orange it's like a it's sort of it's a glittery pigment but it's a pigment you can see that but oh my god um if you guys want to see a swatch video on these let me know and I will make a separate one but she was just so sweet because this is another because it opened and so she said well I'm going to send you some more stuff so super cool this is beyond, and I didn't have to pay for these. These she, she just sent to me because she's just so sweet. This is beyond pink. This is also an electric. I mean, look at this. It's crazy. Because I originally told her I didn't want the neons, and now I'm just so happy because I'm looking at them, and I'm going, oh, my God, because I can use these as eyeliners too. I love lit cosmetics. I love them. 
This is Firecracker. Is this in size three? I think I have this one also in size two. I'm not 100% sure because I asked for all the size twos. The size twos are the smaller glitters. These are the bigger glitters, but you know what? They're absolutely gorgeous. This is just like a, oh my God, like a, I want to say, like uh, the, like a reddish rust color, if that makes sense. Can you see that? Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. And then the last one she sent me is Dreamsicle, which in a size two. I don't know if I have this one. I don't know if this is one that I picked or didn't pick. I have so many from her. It's crazy. And this is gorgeous. This is a pink. You're going to be able to see this. But it's actually sort of like a mauve pink with holographic griddle, griddles in it. Griddles. Um, glitters in it. It is so gorgeous. I mean, this would even like do all over the eye. It's so, so pretty. I mean, every time I do a tutorial on these, they get all over the place, but I don't care. They're absolutely gorgeous. So that is my mail haul from um, Aria. Love her to death. And let me know, guys, on these chromaline liners, like what you guys think. Are they long lasting? Um, they seem long lasting. I'm touching them and they're not budging, even the ones that are supposedly paint pots. So let me know what you think. Do these guys, guys, do they flake or anything like that? Let me know. Post down below because, like I said, I'm not a huge MAC person. So this is going to be my first time using these, um, but I will do some looks for you. They will be on my Instagram. Follow me down below um, on all my social media. Um, I don't Twitter a lot. I don't tweet a lot. Um, I don't know why because no one really tweets with me a lot. It's kind of weird. I mean, I don't post like random stuff. I just kind of post my videos and stuff like that, but I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like, but I do Instagram and, um, I love checking messages on Instagram and that kind of stuff. So that's cool. And I have a Facebook page and so follow me on those. I have a blogger, a Tumblr, all that other stuff. So follow me on those and post below and hopefully give this video a thumbs up. Oh, look at my rainbow hands. Like, oh my God, I'm so in love. And I will talk to you guys later. I will be back in the same outfit for, I have a lot of unboxings here. <laughs> so I'll be back. Love you guys.